danger south of the border, the U.S. issuing travel advisories for Mexico. And of course, as we're hitting peak spring break season right now, advising Americans not to travel to many areas there. News Nation's Marky Martin joins us live. So Marky, the State Department is citing crime and kidnapping concerns. Yeah, that's right, Nicole. People with travel plans south of the border are being warned right now. They themselves could become victims to all the rampant crime that is happening there. And the State Department reissuing that travel advisory to Mexico after the U.S. consulate this week uh, shut down amid violence. Just days ago, across the Texas border, gunfire broke out between the Mexican military and gang members on the streets of Nuevo Laredo after the arrest of a high-profile cartel leader, the violence shutting down the U.S. consulate and two international bridges. Also this week, skeletal remains found on a Cancun beach right in the middle of the hotel zone. Within the last day, the State Department issuing a new travel advisory telling Americans to stay away from these five Mexican states, citing organized crime, including armed robbery, carjacking, kidnapping, gun battles, and murder. Even with these alerts, I'm not going to let that change my travel plans. I still want to enjoy, but I know how to enjoy safely, and I'm going to make sure I take all those measures. Former FBI Special Agent Jennifer Koffendoffer actually has plans to be in Mexico soon. She says for those like her, who already had a vacation booked. You just have to be vigilant. The large hotels and those beautiful resorts are very safe. Where people get in trouble is they go out on their own. They rent a car or they otherwise go to see the country because they want to get the true feel of Mexico outside of what the tourist situation offers, and that's where you can get in trouble. Her advice, book excursions through your hotel and reputable companies. Don't wear flashy jewelry and follow the buddy system. So often people maybe meet somebody interesting, want to go to another place than the rest of their group wants to go, and they separate. So that is just putting yourself in harm's way. But sometimes Mexican authorities aren't always able to keep crime outside resort gates. Late last year, gunmen stormed the beach at the Hyatt in Quintana Roo and killed two suspected drug dealers, injuring four American tourists in the attack. And Nicole, some of the most popular tourist destinations, Cabo, Cancun, for example, those areas are not on the most serious regions of this new travel advisory. However, they are on a list of 11 areas uh, that Americans are being encouraged to reconsider visiting at this time during spring break. Nicole. Yeah, certainly something travelers need to pay attention to. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.